Welcome to our channel map to immigrate, LMIA, Labor Market Impact Assessment. A Labor Market Impact Assessment, LMIA, is a document issued by Employment and Social Development Canada, ESDC, assessing the impact of hiring a foreign national in Canada. A positive LMIA indicates that there is no Canadian citizen or permanent resident to fill a position, therefore enabling an employer to hire a foreign national. A negative LMIA indicates that a position should be filled by a Canadian citizen or permanent resident. LMIA application, median hourly wages by province or territory, exemptions to LMIA requirements facilitated LMIA, Quebec. A foreign national cannot apply for an LMIA. Rather, LMIAs are documents that must be applied for by a Canadian employer. While sometimes it is possible to hire a foreign worker who is exempt from needing an LMIA or who is exempt from requiring a work permit, all streams of Canada's Temporary Foreign Worker Program TFWP, require that an employer obtain an LMIA in order to hire outside of Canada. As well, many of Canada's immigration pathways to permanent residency require that applicants show a positive LMIA in order to claim points for a Canadian job offer. LMIA LMIA application. An employer may submit an application for an LMIA as early as six months prior to the intended start date for the position. LMIA application procedures vary depending on the wage of the person being hired. Employers should consult the median hourly wages of their province or territory in order to determine whether their position is considered high wage or low wage, as low wage positions will require the employer to meet additional criteria. There are specialized streams for employers wishing to obtain LMIAs for certain areas of employment. These include hiring in home caregivers, hiring agricultural workers, hiring foreign academics, hiring within the province of Quebec, LMIA application requirements. LMIA applications are submitted in hard copy by mail to the appropriate Service Canada Processing Centre. Applications must include evidence that the following criteria have been met. 1. Processing fee. All applications for LMIAs include a CAD 1000 processing fee, which will not be refunded even if the result is negative. 1. Certain applicants under the LMIAs for in-home caregivers may be exempt from this fee. 2. Business legitimacy documents. Documents proving that the employer's status as a legitimate Canadian business. 3. Transition plan. Employers must submit a plan for how they intend to address the need to hire foreign nationals. 3. Eventually, employers are expected to hire Canadian citizens and permanent residents rather than TFWs. 4. Recruitment efforts. Employers must submit evidence that they made substantial efforts to recruit Canadian citizens and permanent residents to fill the position before hiring a TFW. 5. Wages. Applications must include information regarding the TFW's wages. 5. This will differentiate the high-wage positions from low-wage positions and ensure that TFWs are paid the same amount for labour as their Canadian equals. 6. Workplace safety. TFWs are entitled to the same standards of workplace health and safety as Canadians in the same position. 6. For this reason, employers must provide evidence that TFWs will be covered by insurance, which is at minimum equivalent to the health coverage offered by the province or territory where the business is located. Low-wage workers employers submitting LMIA applications for low-wage positions must also address the following three requirements. 1. Cap on TFWs. If an employer has previously hired TFWs, the two transportation employers must provide low wage workers with adequate transportation to and from canada two this transportation is provided at the employer's expense three housing low wage workers must be provided with adequate housing for the duration of their employment in canada what happens after lmia is approved after an lmia application has been processed employers will be issued a decision if the employer is issued a positive LMIA, they can proceed with hiring a foreign national. If a negative LMIA is issued, then unfortunately the employer is not approved to hire a foreign national. Positive LMIAs are valid for six months from the date of issue. After receiving a positive LMIA, the employer must notify the foreign national so that they can apply for their work permit or permanent residence. 
In certain conditions, employers may apply to have their LMIA application processed in 10 days. To qualify for expedited processing, an employer must be located outside of Quebec and meet one of the following requirements. Highest wage positions, top 10% of wages earned by Canadians in the province territory of the job skilled trades, paid at least the median provincial territorial wage for the position. Short-term positions, 120 days or less, express entry, the LMIA is to assist an express entry candidate median hourly wages by province or territory. If an employer is hiring a TFW to be paid at or above the median hourly wage for their province or territory, then they must go through the high wage workers stream for LMIAs. If an employer is hiring a TFW to be paid below the median hourly wage, then they must go through the low wage workers stream. Exemptions to LMIA requirements. In certain cases, it may not be necessary for an employer to obtain an LMIA in order to hire a foreign worker. The majority of LMIA exemptions are managed through the International Mobility Program. Learn more about LMIA exemptions and about exemptions from requiring a work permit. Facilitated LMIA Quebec. The province of Quebec retains significant autonomy over its immigration policies and procedures. For this reason, the province has a few unique distinctions regarding the hiring of foreign workers. The facilitated LMIA process allows Quebec employers to apply for LMIAs without needing to provide evidence that they made efforts to recruit a Canadian citizen or permanent resident to fill the position. Learn more about the requirements for a facilitated LMIA, Global Talent Stream. The Global Talent Stream, GTS, is a two-year pilot program launched in June 2017 through a partnership between Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada, IRCC, and Employment and Social Development Canada, ESDC. The GTS assists certain Canadian employers to hire highly skilled global talent, enabling them to compete on an international scale. Employers who are successfully referred to the program will be able to expedite the process of hiring foreign nationals through the Global Skills Strategy. Intra-Company Transfer Canada's International Mobility Program enables high-skilled foreign nationals to work temporarily in Canada as intra-company transferees. If a foreign national is an employee of a company in a location outside of Canada, they may be eligible to obtain an LMIA exempt work permit to transfer to one of the company's locations within Canada. The intra-company transferee rule applies to all countries. NAFTA work permits the North American Free Trade Agreement, NAFTA, encompasses an expansive array of trade protocols between Canada, the United States and Canada. NAFTA provides unique opportunities for the authorization of citizens of the United States and Mexico to work in Canada. Those foreign nationals covered by NAFTA provisions may be eligible to work in Canada without the requirement for a Labour Market Impact Assessment, LMIA, or a Work Permit. CETA Work Permits the Canada-European Union EU. Comprehensive Economic and Trade Agreement, CETA, encompasses an expansive array of trade protocols between Canada and EU member nations. CETA provides unique opportunities for the authorization of citizens EU nations to work in Canada. Those foreign nationals covered by CETA provisions may be eligible to work in Canada without the requirement for a labor market impact assessment, LMIA, or a work permit. Thanks for joining me on this journey through the IRCC news. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more videos exploring the latest advancements and insights in the latest news. For more information contained in the content of this video www.canadim.com